I was inspired by natural systems. In particular, you look at high performance animals, insects, and think about, well, how can I recreate some of those features? To speak up and, and, and you know, ask for things and, and uh, you know, go after things, you know, go after, th if something is interesting to me, then go, go do it, go pursue it. I was big into um, RC plane, remote control planes and boats and cars, as you could probably expect. So not, not a big surprise. Oh, no, they crashed all the time. That was <laughs> and they still they continue to crash, my uh, robots, yes. Well, my favorite thing is, is the, the freedom to explore my intellectual curiosity. Curiosity. There's, a, there's many applications for the robots that we're, that we're making that would be beneficial to humanity. Um, but I think what is more important is the different technologies that we're pushing to bring us to those applications. I don't know if I can narrow it down to one person. I could say at the start it was my grandfather who was a civil engineer and a, and a faculty uh, and, a, and a professor as well. Um, then my father, in a, in a very practical sense, who is a, uh, who is a very talented engineer in a, in a, in a, in a, in a company. Um, and I would go probably to date has been, though, uh, my, my advisor at Berkeley, Ron Fearing, uh, and, and all of the tremendous advice that he's provided to me. For, for our lab in particular, the fact that we, we break things all the time. Our, uh, our robots are, are uh, rather fragile, they break and we make new ones. Not all of them work the first time, in fact quite the opposite. You learn a lot more from, from the failure of these devices than you would from success. If something works the first time, that might be nice, but you might have gotten lucky. So, it's, I think it's telling that I can't come up with a single item because we rely on so many tools, but in general, they're not terribly expensive. There's just a lot of them. So I don't know if I could narrow it down to one. My arms would be full, I guess, but I don't know if I could narrow it down to one in particular in terms of the tools. I'm a big fan of some classic rock. I, uh, uh, in particular, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, these sorts of things. I find it to be very stress relieving and I keep a guitar in, all in, in my lab, in my office, in oh, case yeah. I need to uh, in case I need to relax a little bit.